How's it guys? I just wanted to talk to you about the importance of ground bait and feeding in general. So we will start with what is it? It's basically just bait that you throw in the water to attract fish to the area you're fishing in. Now, if there are no fish in the area, it won't help at all. So you need to use it in a spot that is actually active. Ah, secondly, what does it do? As I said before, it attracts fish. So if a, an area is quiet and there are fish in the area, but the, the bite rate is slow, the ground bait or whatever kind of feed you're using will attract more fish to the area. So it will in increase your bite rate. How do we level up our ground bait skill? As you can see here, there is a, a making ground bait skill. As you can see, I've already uh, maxed it out on this character. So I'm going to show you on a low level alt how to level it up. So I'll see you just now. Right, leveling our uh, ground bait skill is actually pretty easy uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna press the O key open up your skills look at making ground bait and then you are going to find where your skill level is so my skill level is at 3.2 percent and I've unlocked basic level components this is how far we are with our skills so we have unlocked semolina ground crackers all these additives and the attractants vanilla sunflower oil caramel so what you want to do is you take the components that are in the latest level that you've locked out like this one has pearl barley feed milk, milky cream so if i if this was my latest one i would be using these but because it's this one we're going to take either semolina or, or ground cr crackers and then either vanilla sunflower oil or caramel whichever is cheapest so then you're gonna come to the tackle store Gonna click ground bait, gonna click basics, find the the latest one you've unlocked, which is ground crackers for me. You're gonna buy it. And then we're gonna skip over additives and go straight to attractants. And we're gonna buy sunflower oil, which I already have a few. And then you're gonna press in, click ground bait. Now, there's two ways you can do this. You can either do the already existing ones, but they have additives. So it'll be more expensive, but you'll obviously be able to use the results. Now, the, the, the cheaper way is to make the ground bait, put the mixture, and put the attractant, and no additives. Because it still counts as making ground bait. As long as you're using the latest unlocked base and the latest unlocked attractant it will still count so as you see i'll click make and we still gain skill points for making it even though the recipe isn't quite complete and then you would say discard because we don't actually want to keep that so it's up to you how you want to do it this is the most efficient and cheap way to level your ground bait uh, welcome back. Now I'm going to show you the different types of ground bait. So we're going to open our inventory. We're going to go to ground bait. All right. You have your ball. Let's just look at it. It's just a ball. Now it's, it has a, a base. Uh, it has additives and it has an attractant. All of that works together to slowly disperse and attract fish. You have a dry mix. It's exactly the same as this, except it's dry. You haven't added water to it. This has water added to it. So it's essentially the same thing. All right, we are going to go down. And we are going to look at PVA sticks. Now PVA stick is a dry mix added to a PVA mesh. And the mesh slowly dissolves and releases your dry mix into the water. And then you get a PVA stringer. It doesn't really use ground bait. It uses boilies, uh, which work like a trail of breadcrumbs. The, the fish will come and eat one, 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 all the way until it reaches your, your actual bait. And then it will consume it and get hooked. Right, and there are various different delivery methods. Over here, we have our basic bottom fishing rig with a feeder cage on and our ball of ground bait is added into it so that when you cast, it'll release it into the water. 
Another method here is our PVA mesh, which is also added directly onto our rig so that when we cast, it's released. Another method is to use a catapult. So you are going to use the middle mouse wheel and set your, your distance, uh, add your, your ball in, and you're just going to shoot it up. And you can actually shoot it quite rapidly. So it's a very efficient method of delivering uh, ball ground bait. And next up, we have a spot rod. Right. This rod, its only purpose is to deliver ground bait. So you're going to press control and plus or minus, set your clip. So you're fishing at 20 meters. Then you're going to put your, your dry feed in a, a spot rocket or a spot bomb and you're just gonna cast it out and then once again once it hits the water it's gonna release a large amount of ground bait right and you're gonna use a rocket for ground bait that has smaller particles if you use uh, small pellets, small boilies, uh, it's more efficient to use a rocket. If you're using large pellets and large boilies in your in your ground bait mixture, uh, it's easier to use a bomb. Or rather, it is preferred to use a bomb. And once again, you can, if you've got stringers, you just add it the same way as you add your PVA. Because it's just a different version of PVA. Yeah. So that's that. Uh, if you guys find this helpful, please like the video, subscribe for future content. So anyway, I'll, I'll see you guys. Cheers. Take care.